So I was thinking the other day, how many different ways in AutoCAD is there to select a line? And I was thinking about this because of the new lasso functionality. So if I wanted to come in here and I wanted to select this line, how many different ways are there? Well, first off, since I already mentioned this, we could use the lasso functionality, whether in this case it's a window or a crossing, go through there and select that line. So that's, that's one way. And if I wanted to get just that line, obviously I could just select it. So the lasso functionality. I could obviously do a window, I could do a rectangular crossing, I could just go pick it for one way of, of selecting it. Well, what else could I do? Well, maybe if I'm in a command, let's say like the erase command, I could do like a crossing polygon. If you never use crossing polygon, um, what, what it does is you can actually define your shape based on a polygonal shape. So does it have to be rectangular? Uh, the same thing will happen if you do WP for window polygon. Um, what you can do is you can define a polygonal shape, kind of the predecessor to the lasso functionality. So you can define kind of irregular shapes to make your selections. Um, if I go back into the erase command, I could do a fence. So F for fence, and I could do a fence to select that line. So those three, you'd have to be in a command. So you can't just pick it first, but you can use those to go through and make your selections. So what am I up to now? We've got lasso, we got window, we got picket, we got window and crossing polygon, and we got fence. So it's five options so far. How else could I do it? Well, if I pick this one, what I could do is I could right click and I could select similar. So uh, I mean, obviously I'm gonna get more than just, just that line, but it selects all lines of the same type. So any line that's on the same layer. It's a great tool. If I wanna come in here and pick all the arcs on the same layer, I can right click, say select similar, and notice that all the arcs are selected. I love it for dimensions. You know, if I need to make um, changes to styles or to text, it's easy to go through and, and pick it. Well, what else could I do? I could do a Q select, right? I could do a quick select. And I could say out of the entire drawing, I want to select all the lines. So I want all the lines. And of course I could do on a particular layer. So let's say zero, click OK. And obviously I picked a layer that AM zero is what I'm after. Okay, so let's do let's do quick select again. Let's go out of the entire drawing. Let's pick all the lines that are on a layer that equals AM0, we click OK, and it's gone through and picked my line. Okay, so there's another method, so quick select. I could also use the good old filter command if I wanted to. So I could come in here and say, well, I'd like to select all of the lines in the drawing. So we'll add that to the list. And we'll say that are on a layer that equals AM0. We'll add that to the list. And whoops, we'll apply that. So we'll do our selection and notice it's gone through and selected those, those objects. Okay, so what are we at here again? So let's just review again. So lasso is one, then we've got window, we've got um, just selected three, we can do crossing polygon, crossing or window polygon, it's four, we've got uh, what else was there? There was fence, five. Um, select similar six, quick select seven, and then filter eight. So there's eight different methods for selecting objects um, in AutoCAD, especially AutoCAD 2005 with the lasso features.